he's finally getting his his timed right so about him so this is a biography exercise i'm tannis corley leonardi she her her who's of seattle this is about a he him his of norway i am uh part old norse and before um uh, region for that particular um one of my grandparents that is f full norwegian and then there's russian and swede is that grandma rosemary i don't know anyway point being so modern day norway and so here we go with this original people's norwegian man jacobing gibbertson and so this is a timed right where i limited myself to a page in the life of jacobing gibbertson an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of blank plain paper and then i get to put this stuff on it and i did a counting up timed approach so there is a total time on here, however, it was a timed right, but counting up. So here we go. Biography exercise. 11 minute timed right on Jacob Ingebrigtsen, written 23 June 2024 by Tannis Corley Leonardi. Riding started 6.37 a.m. When I ran track and field outdoor in high school, spring of 2007, I was part of the middle distance group. I had started running with myself as my coach the year before, 2006 in January. A few of my teammates brought up that Norwegians were not so good in middle distance running. I, Tannis Corley of Leonardi, she, her, hers of Seattle, quickly learned that my Norse and before ancestry, modern day Norway, mattered a lot in the sport of middle distance running. I opted to continue running on my own after that season and revisit running competition if Norway got faster. When I was 28 years of age for the 2020 Summer Olympic Games, Yes. I watched as Jacob Ingebrigtsen of Norway won the gold medal with an Olympic record time in the middle distance race of length 1500 meters outdoor track. The announcer only said his first name after he crossed the finish line. There was a Kenyan man who won the silver medal and a rough looking cute British guy who won the bronze medal. Later the same month, I went to a Woodland Park Zoo with my aunt Danette. We talked about our favorite moments from the games, and I found out she had seen the Norwegian Hadi too. She helped me with the pronunciation of his last name, Ingebrigtsen. I learned that in our Leonardi family, Jacob Ingebrigtsen reigned supreme for the 2020 <laughs> Summer Olympic Games. Writing ended 6.48 a.m. Total time, 11 minutes. Um, 11 out of 10, man. I just want to be an 11 out of 10. <laughs> Okay, because <laughs> he is. And so there we go. But is he? Wait, no, we had Kyle Chalmers, who was an 11 out of 10. We had Dominique Zabosfly and graduated to an 11 out of 10. I, we've had <laughs> minuscule movement on our 11 out of 10 category. Should I? Should I? So Kyle Chalmers and Dominique Zabosfly and Jacob Britton are excellent friends. And who knows? Maybe at. A multi-sport competition. Maybe Jacob and Kyle interact a lot. When's that? That'd be so cool. I want to be there. Can I get a picture with both you, both you hotties? Scottish hottie who competes for Australia and Norwegian hottie. And then we can like bring the lamer king in spirit, if nothing else. There we go. So we'll put this in three befriending playlists. Currently, who knows? Maybe someday I'll have a befriending my aunt in that playlist. <laughs> And what is today? Today, uh, so when I wrote this in Sunday, Sunday, 23 June, 2024.